beautiful sweets. Sweet Sandy J coming back at you. I am running out to run just a few errands real quick. I was not planning on leaving the house today at all. We are getting ready to get a big, big old storm. So I thought I'd better run out real quick. I had a video ready for you guys today. 26 minutes worth of footage and I accidentally deleted it off my phone. So yeah, I gotta go home and start something else again. I have plenty of things, but I'm just mad because I'm trying to backtrack and find 26 uh, minutes worth of Dollar Tree items to show you guys. And for the life of me, I can't remember. Once I put that stuff away, yeah, it's a wrap status. But I'm on my way to the small Dollar Tree because I saw some empty shelves there the last time I was there. So I'm excited to see what they filled in. My large Dollar Tree, I haven't seen anything like that yet. But I'm going to run over here to the small Dollar Tree and see if they put out anything new. I know they got that huge, huge, um, what is it, <sighs> Shore Living. And, you know, my big store down in Raleigh had it last year and I didn't indulge in it too much. Um, I bought my girl Donna a few pieces, but they got a lot more stuff coming out this year. I'm sure you guys have all seen it already, but it's not a big, big to do for me. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see the sky is crazy. Well, just settled down just as soon as I turn the camera on. <laughs> But it's really, really scary back in where I just came from. The wind was blowing. The trees were blowing. Yeah, it was a hot mess. Oh, there's my old stomping ground. Everybody's getting off. We used to close at 2 at Biscuitville. All right, yeah, I'll see you guys at... A lot of, like, Memorial Day, 4th of July decorations here. Really, really cute. My girl Donna showed me these the other day. They're so cute. Look at them. <laughs> this one's with the flag. These are steaks, y'all. You can put them in your yard with the things on them. That one has the flag. That one has the flag over that way. <laughs> the flag there and the flag there. But these are cute. They're steaks. I like that. See, I like this one. The Statue of Liberty. Home of the free because of the brave. Bandanas. That's cute. God bless America. Welcome. These are the swirly decorations. I showed y'all these before they had them. Along with the gnomes. I don't know where the gnomes are. They're somewhere around here. Oh, there they are. There's the gnomes right there. So cute. They got the flags, the balloons, the confetti. These scarves are really, really pretty. Look at the gnome one, y'all. <laughs> they got the mesh down here, but I'm not buying Dollar Tree mesh. Still got empty shells here, and the noise that you heard, she's filling up the other side. Look at, they got the dish shells. These are cute. United we stand. I like the gnome one. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm gnome crazy. They got all the bowls, the napkins. Getting ready for the cookouts, y'all, and the barbecues. Wow, very nice. This is the part that I saw was empty the last time I was here. They put out a lot of summer toys for the kids. This is outdoor fun sand toys. Oops. Got a lot of little shapes in there. We've seen most of this stuff. I saw Tiffany on Daily Davidson <laughs> doing this. <laughs> she was getting her and TJ and Carter. Carter got it right away. <laughs> Y'all see all these cute little water things for the kids. That is like the whale. Isn't that cute? And this one is <laughs> the ducky. <laughs> Those are too cute. Let me see. It would come out here and the water would come out here. That is adorable. So your little little ones can help you water your plants. I got lots of kites. 
Look at that big old shovel, y'all. And red, blue, and yellow. These are the sand sifters. I think that's what they call them. That's what we used to do, sand toys. The ceramic uh, gnomes. I only see one damage so far, but we all got. I got these last year. Praise God! I love mine. Oh, Y'all know what a big kid I am, right? I love these stretchy balls, stretchy dough balls. <laughs> they're for a sense. They're a sensory toy for stress relief. They have them green, orange, pink. Um, yeah, those are the only colors I see them in right now. I don't remember when these used to be four. The Cascade Platinum, and they went down to two for more money. Now they have these Cascade Originals, but they do have four in here with um, Dawn in them. Okay. And you see, they have the exfoliating bath gloves, kind of go with the warming eyes. Like, this is the motif they're putting on all the spring or Mother's Day stuff. I'm not really sure. They're cute. Let's see what other colors they have. Yeah, it's those two. More of the facial massages. More eyelash with that flowery pattern on them. It's kind of like a peachy. And they got pink back there. And those are the only two colors I see so far in that motif. Let's stop the spots. The tough ones. These are the Comfort Plus. They're still small, but in a pinch, that's my jam. I like that kind. Okay, I, I went over to my smaller Dollar Tree first. And I showed you guys. They were mostly putting out okay. summer stuff. They got all this gingham ribbon here, nine feet. Very, very pretty in all different colors. Very nice. They must have just put that out. Now, see all this new McCormick. Um, utensils. They got the scissors. They've got spatulas, the spoons, the ladles, the slotted spoons, and then they have it in the black, all McCormick. This is Betty Crocker or Cooking Concepts. And Betty Crocker's down here. Cooking Concepts is over here. But they got all this new McCormick stuff out. Pretty cool. Okay, here we go. First it was the beets. Now it's genuine dill relish. That is a 99 fluid ounce, three quarts and three fluid ounce can of Heinz genuine dill relish. So there'll be no confusion this time. That is a huge can. Okay, my sweets. I figured since I'm here, right in front of the Dollar Tree, I would just go ahead and do a car haul today. It is beautiful out here, but right now it's hot. So when you hear that noise, that's the AC that's on right now. I didn't get much. I didn't find much. Um, I still have some stuff at the house that I have to show you guys. But I'm just going to show you what I got so far, and then I'll do the other half when I get home. I went to both both my local Dollar Trees, and I finally they finally restocked the um, the stomach relief. It's like the Dollar Tree version of the Pepto Bismol. Um, they finally restocked it in my stores, and I was really happy to see it. Even though I got the bigger one, and I said I was gonna go ahead and get the bigger one, um, what had happened was I'm sick again. So every time I eat something. That comes from my grieving. And I, when I grieve over my mom, I always get sick to my stomach and then bada bada, bing bing. <laughs> so I am almost completely out of that large bottle that I bought, the great value version from um, Walmart. So when I do my monthly grocery shopping this month, I will definitely invest in another um, bottle because I do think it's a better buy. For these two, $1.25 a piece, so it's $2.50 for this. But right now, yeah, 
that's a necessity so I went ahead and grabbed it when I saw it because they haven't had it on our shelves in I don't know when and I showed you guys in the previous walkthrough they have the um, Memorial Day dollar um, what is it 4th of July kind of motif coming out my girl Donna she had just showed some pictures plus I get the emails every day from the Dollar Tree but y'all know I'm known crazy and I had to get the scarf another scarf y'all I am so scarf crazy but this is so cute this is from it just says scarf okay and it looks like this it's so cute it's got the gnomies on it y'all know I'm gnome crazy y'all drape me with all these gnomes I'm just like yes I have to have it and along to go along with that one I got one of the kitchen towels and this is so soft this is a hundred percent polyester you guys and it's by the you know the home collection so it looks like this isn't that cute oh my lord now I usually don't decorate for you know like the Star Spangled Banner that kind of stuff you know I really don't get into that but they had some decorations um, gnome decorations that were really cute you'll see them in the walkthrough but yeah so I just got the dish towel just to juice things up for the 4th of July and I was telling you guys in the first video that I deleted that I haven't been sleeping since my mom passed I mean my sleeping pattern is just ridiculous I believe I called it jinky I'll fall asleep finally and then I'll wake right back up and it's like I never even went to sleep or I'll toss and turn all night but anywho I digress I had some melatonin gummies on my nightstand and those when I take them when I wake up my head feels like it weighs 100 pounds so it kind of leaves me groggy I don't like that feeling when I wake up but I also had these right next to the um, melatonin um, gummies these are the soothing natural garden little chewable pills these are so good you guys I started taking them and started chewing them at night you can only chew one per 24 hours but I slept so good so soundly when I woke up I felt like I had actually rested matter of fact a few times I've taken them and thought I was up watching um, TV or something and the next morning I would wake up and go when did I fall asleep <laughs> I didn't even remember when I fell asleep but I fell asleep these are a di sleep aid dietary supplement with melatonin and herbs fall asleep faster wake without grogginess non habit forming and drug free and they're cherry flavored and they're, they're quite tasty so I mean they're really little teeny tiny pills you just chew one you know before you you know before you get ready to go to bed so it kicks in and it tells you to give at least two hours sleep after you take them which y'all know I'm going to sleep for the whole night you get eight chewables for a dollar 25 as long as the Dollar Tree is selling these unless I can find a better better bargain somewhere else I'm going to continue buying these because I'm telling y'all I have not slept well since November 1st okay. most of this <laughs> stuff um, came from the smaller Dollar Tree over by the Walmarts on Cooper Road in case my local subbies are wondering but I did see some of this stuff here at the large Dollar Tree on Raleigh Road and I don't usually eat processed foods you guys but I thought these were so cute I had to buy them I couldn't help it I'm gonna send my sister some this if she ever has a little girl with her or she can eat these herself these are by armor they're called lunch makers they're, they have different varieties I think I've seen them before on other people's channels I can't remember you know we're slow to get a lot of stuff so these are like the lunchables I see um pre what is it uh, oh god what am I doing here <sighs> thrifty diva sorry baby <laughs> I got my tongue all twisted thrifty Tiffany thrifty diva who hacking yeah these I see her um, put these in her son's lunch sometimes I love to watch her make his lunches but hey girl hey y'all don't know who I'm talking about thrifty divas go over and um, show her some love that is my girl from Long Island tell her sweet Sadie J sent you but these are like the Lunchables they're just called the armor 
lunch makers, armor lunch makers. And this one is the turkey one. And you have the Butterfinger candy bar miniature. You got the cheese, um, the turkey, and the crackers. I thought they were adorable. And with my stomach all wicky wacky woo like it is right now, something light like this might just be the trick. Because I haven't been eating, so I'll, every time I do eat, y'all know, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> okay? I didn't sleep at all last night, even with taking one of my um, little sleeping pills because, you know, yeah, my stomach just kept waking me up. But this one is the Armor Lunchmaker Bologna with chicken and pork. And this is the crackers, crunchers, and again, it you have a Butterfinger in it. I hope y'all can see that. The crackers, the bologna, and the cheese. I just thought they were so cute. Look like this. And like I said, I don't normally, you know, indulge in stuff like this, but... I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it today because these are cute. This one is really different. This one is the Lunch Makers Chips, Salsa, and Cheese. 14 grams of whole grains. This is the Nachos with the Crunch Bar. I don't see my Crunch Bar. Where's my Crunch Bar? Oh, it's in there. It's hanging under, underneath the chips. Okay, so this one is the Nachos. Y'all can see that? Sorry. My nails. I hope you can see that. It's really, really sunny out here, and there was no place decent to to pull it in the parking lot to be um, to have a little privacy. You just can't have privacy in the public. But you can see the little um, Nestle Crunch Bar right there. If you can see that dark spot, but this one I probably should have gotten two, but I wanted to try them first. So this is the Nacho one with the Crunch Bar. So I got those. Then it had a different variety, which. I spotted, actually I spotted these first before I spotted the armors. These are the Sargento Balance Breaks Cheese and Crackers. They have Ritz Crackers. This one is Pepper Jack and Colby Jack Natural Cheeses and Ritz Mini Crackers. So they look like this. You can see that. And you turn them over and it's the cheese and the crackers. I thought that was, oh, I love pepper jack cheese, y'all. I really do. For $1.25, I didn't think that was too bad. I don't know. I wanted to try them. Then they had this one, the Sar Sargento Balance Breaks Trisket Cheese and Crackers. So this is with the Triscuits. Looks like that. You turn it over. It looks like that. And I don't know if these had expiration dates on them or not. I didn't even check. You know, when you see something new or different, you just kind of grab it. But if they do, I'm not seeing it right now. But y'all know, this is processed food. It'll live longer than we will most of the time. But it says July of 22 for that one. And let's see. Mm, not really seeing this one. But... Okay, we'll just move on with that. And the last one of the Sargentos was the Wheat Thins cheese and crackers. So you have the Triscuits, the Ritz crackers, and the Wheat Thins. And that looks like this. All right, trying to move my nails. You see that? And then you turn it over, and you've got the Triscuits, and, I mean the Wheat Thins and the cheese. And this is just with Monterey Jack and mild cheddar cheese. And this one was with Pepper Jack and Colby Jack cheese. And this one was with Gouda and Sharp Cheddar cheese. So they all come with different kinds of cheeses. So I thought that was really cute for, um, you know, okay, you guys, like I was saying in the video that I deleted accidentally, I had this really, really cute um, decor piece. And it was like a square. It was solid, solid square. It had like the burlap mesh net on the back. It was really, really pretty. It had all these flowers, like lavender and pink flowers around going up and down it. I wish I had taken a picture of it before I took it back. I had to exchange that and a scarf that I repurchased. You know, I can't remember. But the display, the decor was so pretty. And it said, as for me and my house, I will serve, we will serve the Lord. And then it had the scripture down bottom, Joshua 24, 8. I forgot what scripture is it, it is. 
but instead of it saying Joshua, it said Joshua, J-U-S-H-U-A. And I took it back and I was hoping it was just that one that said it, but they all said it. And so the cashier, he was like the manager. He was like, oh my God, where was this made? It was made in China. So I'm like, I guess they spelled Joshua, Joshua. So I had to exchange it. And the two items that I chose to exchange it for was this cosmetic bag. This says, get it girl. And it's like a tie dye, but it's got my tie dye colors, the purples and the blues. And it's so cute. And of course I checked the zipper, Jen. <laughs> So I'm like, this is cute. So I just exchanged it for that. Okay. And then I just exchanged it for, y'all you know, boros, as Sherry would say, a box of tissues. So I got those two items. And then I found the, I showed you guys in the last haul, the Leaping Leopard lime juice. And I found the lemon juice today. And it has the same expiration date on it as the lime juice. It's July of this year, so, I mean, next year. So, I'm just like, okay, yeah, July 21st of 2023. So, I did get that. And I just used um, lime juice on my fish the other night, but it's okay. I had lemon juice in there. I was just lazy. I finally, finally found, uh, or finally made it to my store. This is the Herdez avocado hot sauce and this is in a glass jar it looked like it was in a plastic jar when everyone else was showing it but it is a glass jar it is the herdez um avocado hot sauce never had anything like this it's a little on the liquidy side the instructions say shake well before serving so and this is, expires in june so this expires june of this year so you gotta hurry up and use that or keep it in the refrigerator or something so I thought that was cute I've never had any avo avocado hot sauce but I've had them you know avocado and hot sauce on the same item so I figured hey why not so I have been trying to keep my eye out open for those and they finally made it to my local my local Dollar Tree and I repurchased this is a repurchase because this is one of the items that was deleted in the first video but I figured I'd, I had already thrown away the package so I figured I'd just give one of them to my sister. This is the McCormick scissors. I show you guys in a previous walkthrough where they have all the McCormick um, storage containers. And today I found all the McCormick um, utensils in the red and in the black. So I don't know what, what's the deal with the McCormick coming to the Dollar Tree, but yeah, we got some scissors. I didn't need them, but I just took the, I just got them because I wanted them. Then I found this beautiful, beautiful Yama. It's called Yama Ribbon. It's mega. And I'm like, oh, man, if they only had had more, this is what it looks like. Okay, it's the big rolls. It is, um, it doesn't tell you the measurements. How dare you? Oh, okay. It is um, one and a half inches by 30 foot, so 10 yards. So they only had it in the baby pink and in the baby blue. I was hoping they had some yellow and some purple so I could make some like um, pastel bows or something out of them. But these will come in handy. I will just put them in my stash so when you know I need to make my bows, I thought that was a good deal for $1.25. You don't see that too often at the Dollar Tree. So. And I did finally bite the bullet and go ahead and get some of this metal ribbon. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I'm definitely going to have to look it up, you know, on YouTube and see what everybody's doing with it, how they're utilizing it. Me, I'm already thinking gluing it to something, but I don't know. So I did finally get, this is from the Floral Garden Metal Ribbon. Looks like this. I got that one. These were the only two they had left, so these pretty much look almost identical, but I don't care. So I did get those, and it just says the metal ribbon. So I got those just in case I, I can figure out what to do with them. And the last item that I purchased today, I believe, is this. This is 973 New Color Polish, because y'all know I'm trying to stay ahead of the game when, um, when I'm polishing my nails. But I like something different, something summery. And again, I can't find the name on these for to save my life. Every time I think I know where it is, it's just this nail polish, 973. 
and yeah smooth and beautiful yeah I'm not seeing it it's something in another language but I thought that was a really blue like ocean blue and I can't wait to go to the beach go down and visit um, the beach and have this polish on my nails because I think it's really really pretty but I went ahead and grabbed it while I saw it and that is it you guys